Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into a project that focuses on green, green and AWS Copilot for continuous integration and continuous deployment CICD for web application. Let's begin by talking a look at a diagram that illustrates different components of this process. The process is centered around creating a seamless CICD process for web applications. Here how it works. First, we have a user, typically a developer, who writes the source code for web application. The source code is stored in the repository, which will create using idea called commit. This allows us to person control and manage our code effectively to install uh, to ensure the few steps to the cloud commit uh, repository, we set up an IAM cloud for user with as the appropriate permission. Moving forward, we will build the web application, use the cloud build, this project compile and package the shell code, producing a resource that we store in S3 bucket. We configure the access setting to control how to build up a store. Why we could simply store the code as a zip file in an S3 bucket. I manually deploy it to our server. It's not a best practice for automation, speed, and flexibility. To address the requirement, we create a pipeline using AWS Cloud Pipeline. This pipeline will integrate cloud commit, cloud build, and cloud deploy. For deployment, we'll utilize an into each two instance which will serve as our web application server. The primary goal of this project is enable a seamless deployment process. When deployment may change to cost, the change will automatically be pressed on the server. This ensures that a user experience a more up to date version of application, resulting in better overall user experience. Now that have a clear understanding of the process and its benefits, let's dive in and start building our CSD pilot. Now let's walk through the process setting of repository and performing basic operation using AWS Cloud Commit. To begin, log into the AWS management console and navigate to Cloud Commit. Click on create repository and provide a name for your repository. For this demonstration, let's call it demo app. Next, we need to configure an IAM user to access our repository. Inside IAM console, as a new user and enable console access. Make sure to generate the necessary credential. Then open your terminal or visual code and navigate to the design directory. Use clone URL provided by CalComic. Enter username and password associated with the IAM user you created easily.
to enable the lesson story from Winston. Go back to the I am console and Natasha. I declare how commit power user or I, I declare how commit full access to the I am user you created. Now, let's perform some basic operation. Make change to the call, then use the following command. It's as we commit with the commit message. It's put origin master. Since we put your call to the master plane, if you want to work on a different plane, follow the step. Please check out. So let's call change and remember to sell. It's as we commit, it puts origin step. If you're working on that frame and want to merge your chain into the master frame, follow this step. Create a pull request in call commit. Specify in the short frame and step and tag its frame as master. Review the chain in the pull request of view. If everything looks good, please on merge to merge the call into the master frame. And that you have it, you successfully created a repository committee code and merge chain using a dead cow commit. Now let's explore how to create a pill using a direct call pill. In the direct management console, navigate to call pill and click on create pill process. Provide a name for your pill process. For example, let's call it the more app pill test. Under the source section, choose uh, IPA call commits as the provider, select the repository you create easily and specify the frame as method. For the build environment, choose manage init, select Ubuntu as operating system and standard as runtime. You can also create a new service role if needed. Under the build specification, choose the choose a build specify and provide a path to your build specify. This file contains instructions for your build and deploying your application. If you are unsure about the format, you can refer to tutorial build specs provided by SPS. By default, call build send build lot to CloudWatch. If you don't want to enable this system, Simply uncheck the option to disable CloudWatch. Then you review the configuration setting. You specify so far. If everything looks good, click on Create a Build Process. So, congratulations! You successfully set up a build process on AWS Cloud Build, which will allow you to automate the build process. Uh, your application based on the call chain in the call commit repository.
continue to talk about artifacts in AWS. Artifacts are the output or resource of the build process. And they typically represent, represent the compiled or packaged version of your application or software. To store your artifact, we use Amazon S3 inside AWS Management Console, navigate to S3 and click on Create Purchase, profile and name for your purchase. Let's go it demo as artifact. Inside the S3 purchase, create a folder to organize your artifact. You can create a folder by clicking on Create Folder and Profile and Name for it. In your code build process, on the artifact section, choose the Amazon S3 as file, provide the path to powder you create in your S3 budget. This will be the destination for your build artifact. For example, if your name format for the name is build artifact, the path will be the more app artifact, build artifact. You can start the build process. When the build complete, code build will generate an artifact file. This file typically named artifact sheet represents the compiled package version of your application. If you need to make change to the artifacts after the build, you can simply download the artifact file, make the necessary edits, and re-upload it to the S3 bucket. This allows you to refine and update your view output as needed. And then you have which you successfully set up an F3 budget to store your appeal artifact and consist code view to generate and manage the artifact.